Single Mothers in Section 8 Housing A Guide to Finding Affordable Housing Section 8 Housing is a federal program that helps low-income families find affordable homes. Welcome ladies here at Single Moms Make Money. Hope this information helps you be the best mom for your children. As a Section 8 tenant, it's important to understand your rights and obligations and the laws and regulations in your regard. You must determine whether you are qualified for the program, but you must also determine which sorts of properties are eligible for government help. This post will address some frequently asked questions regarding Section 8 housing and will assist you in navigating the process. What is Section 8 housing and how does it work? Section 8 housing is a federal program that helps low-income families find affordable homes. Local public housing agencies operate the program, which the federal government sponsors. Section 8 vouchers are given to eligible program participants who use them to pay for a portion of their rent and utilities. Who is eligible for Section 8 benefits which households are eligible for Section 8? Housing assistance is determined by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD income, family size, type of housing unit, and property location are all criteria that determine eligibility. Families that qualify must earn no more than 50% of the local median income, the average income in the region where they reside. Is there anything I can do to qualify for Section 8? There are a few things you may do to get Section 8 benefits. The first thing you should do is see whether your salary is below the state's minimum. If that's the case, you're qualified. The second requirement is that neither you nor your spouse has been convicted of any drug-related offenses in the last five years. Nor do you have any outstanding warrants. Finally, if you have a kid who qualifies for Medicaid and lives with you at least half of the time, may be a criterion. After double-checking these requirements, you'll need to figure out what kind of property qualifies under Section 8. The Department of Housing and Urban Development has established specific standards that must be met at HUD. HUD, for example, stipulates that each unit has four bedrooms and two baths. It also makes it illegal to stay in a mobile home for more than 90 days. Other factors to examine include the property's location and its structural soundness and sanitary conditions. Look for a housing authority. The first thing you should do is to for a housing authority in your neighborhood, you may look for one online or in the phone book in your area. Whether you call your local housing authority and inquire about Section 8 housing, they will let you know if it is available in your region. They will also inform you of the application procedures and the properties that are eligible for this type of help. What are the Section 8 rules and regulations? The laws and regulations governing Section 8 housing differ by location. There are certain common guidelines that you should follow. You must be a United States citizen or an eligible immigrant. You must not have a criminal record. Your family income must be sufficient to qualify for the program. The rental contract or rental agreement is included with Section 8 housing. Every renter must follow this agreement and you cannot breach it without incurring legal repercussions. The lease outlines your rights duties and program requirements. Because Section 8 housing usually has a waiting list, you will have to be patient if you want to join the program. However, if you are accepted, you will be placed ahead of individuals who are not Section 8 renters on the waiting list. Of many companies want to assist you in growing your company and ensuring that it is doing its best. They achieve this in several ways. One of which is via SEO services. When you have these services in place, people will be able to simply locate your material when they are searching for what you have to offer. There are methods to achieve fantastic results from SEO specialists who will provide you with techniques geared to what your business requires. Regardless of your budget. How much do I have to put down as a security deposit for the Section 8 housing you are interested in, you will need to pay a security deposit. This money will be used to repair any damages to your flat and belongings and cover rent arrears. The deposit amount is determined by the size of your family and the number of bedrooms you are requesting. The typical security deposit ranges from $100 to $450. If you are a single mother with two children, you should budget between $100 and $0.02 $100 for a security deposit. Not only that, but there's more you will also have to pay extra costs linked with Section 8 housing. Once your application has been granted, you will be required to pay the first month's rent the previous month's rent and utility bills. These prices differ depending on the state or city you reside in. So it's best to conduct some research ahead of time if feasible, leaving the rental property. 
If you're the head of household, you may be wondering how long you have to stay in a home before you can move out. Not a family is not compelled to dwell in a house for a certain period before moving out. The renter has the option of staying or leaving. Still, it's vital to remember that if the head of household leaves their Section 8 home and there isn't another qualifying family member living in the apartment, the landlord will be unable to charge the next tenant rent. One of the most difficult aspects of being a single mother is locating suitable accommodation. However, it may also be one of the most difficult tasks. Fortunately, Section 8 services are available to assist. Section 8 is a federal program that offers low-cost housing. However, there are a variety of requirements to qualify for this program. Section 8 housing comes in a variety of shapes and sizes. This page will explain what Section 8 is, who qualifies for it, and how to apply if you meet the requirements. This video will also assist you in understanding what to anticipate as a Section 8 tenant and what your duties are. Ladies, we hope this information helps you become successful. Please subscribe and hit the like button toodles.